The Network and Management Console, or NMC, has been changed in a few areas. In the Administration view, the Configuration tab from version 8.2 has been divided into three new tabs, Protection, Hosts, and Server. The Protection tab is where a user can locate the resources to create clients, modify groups and schedules, and define new backup policies, which is a new feature in 9.0. The Host tab is where a user can manage the network or host known to the network or server. Within this area is the Known Host tab, which displays configuration information, Software Inventory tab, which displays available networker updates, and the Software Repository tab to manage the software updates available to push to networker clients. The Server tab is where a user can find the resources to administer the networker server, such as registrations, user groups, and restricted data zones. Clicking on the networker server from the tree on the left displays information about the server in the center, as well as provide links to networker resources on the right. In addition to the changes described on the previous slide, there have been a number of less noticeable but very important changes made to NMC. The Client Configuration Backup Wizard has been streamlined to prompt for the most often used options. Additional options can be specified in the client properties. Some properties are only displayed in diagnostic mode. Safe sets have one browser retention policy time assigned to either a backup or a clone operation. Backup levels have been reduced to five choices, full, incremental, cumulative incremental, logs only, and synthetic full. The choices in earlier versions of Networker, such as levels one through nine, and incremental synthetic full are no longer available. For data domain and advanced file type devices, or AFTD, a user can create an incremental forever strategy. If no full backup exists, a full backup will be performed first, followed by incrementals. For AFTD, backups will automatically be promoted to full after every 38th incremental. Policies and workflows have been introduced in 9.0 to take the place of groups, scheduled clones, and other resources from older versions of Networker. A policy consists of a set of independent workflows. Each workflow is associated with a group resource and a set of actions which define when and how often a backup or clone should run. A workflow may contain actions that run sequentially or in parallel. When performing an upgrade to a version 9.0, resources from the older versions of Networker will be converted into new data protection policies. Notifications can be set for each policy. The notifications could be logged to a log file or email address. By default, policy backup logs are located in the NSR, Logs, Policy, and Policy Name directory of the Networker server. Here is a visual representation of the default Silver policy. It consists of two workflows, File System and Application. Each object in the workflow represents a resource which can be modified from this view by right-clicking on the object. The application's workflow consists of multiple default actions and pools. Silver application represents the group where a user can add and remove clients. Backup is the action. This is where a user can use the action wizard to specify options such as the backup schedule and storage node. Default is the media pool. In the media pool properties, the user can specify the label template and target device. Clone is the secondary action. The action wizard will provide clone specific options here. Default clone is another media pool which is independent of the backup pool. Actions within a workflow will not proceed unless the previous action has finished. 